Come on, y'all. Show some love for Ray Charles. Come on, Valentine's Day and shit. <laughs> when I say love it, y'all say leave it alone. You can love it. Louder. I said when I say love it, you say leave it alone. You can love it. They used to call an African like they was cussing. They used to call an African like they wasn't. Said she had a type of dirt that soap can't wash But she had a type of pain that just won't stop She tried to make confidence the color of dandruff She flat ironed her lies and permed her answers And despite all the manufactured poisons She used to tamper with the canvas Still, the only compliment she ever landed was You're pretty for a dark girl Trying to describe beauty with such ugly words, but you are what you speak. My Benita apple bomb, cocoa brown sweet, was treated like a lower life form amongst yellow bones and willingness minded, mindless niggas that'll never know the perfection and a complexion. But when she was ready for her first and last lesson, that's when I stepped in. I saw the tears before they flooded the spaces between the eyelashes and your chin. I said, baby girl, you can either sink or swim, but believe it or not, there are some men who are addicted to chocolate. So that's when I pulled her close and whispered to her softly, listen, you are not fine. You are not fly, you are not beautiful, and you show us hell ain't cute. Yo, are the motherfucking truth, and don't let anybody tell you opposite. See, not too many people can handle chocolate truth, but I can. So I decided to write this poem on every inch of a body with my hand, leaving no punctuation, because... I don't plan on stopping, but the way her chocolate legs is wrapped around my waist to make an exclamation point, and she easily okay. puts my exclamation point into her destination point. But the first lesson is patience, because yeah. I want to take this to the highest elevation point, kissing you from your genesis to your revelations point. Have you speaking in tongues beside the forbidden tree, trying to put me in so deep? I swear I can feel the roots. Your chocolate truth is sweet like a baby Ruth, baby. You tastes like candy, and I am addicted to chocolate. Drop dead gorgeous, you resurrect flawless, you make the drop dead order in every aura very dim in your light. Your skin is that of a queen's linen, and that's wanna be the king sitting beside you. From your Egyptian shaped lips to that ass sitting behind you. My queen, I S I S, I guess I'm addicted to your complexion, cause it's that of the beginning. So when I see you, I see a reflection of civilization and call me crazy. That turns me on like a motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> I really, really didn't mean for this poem to turn so explicit. But when I start thinking of flawless dark chocolate, I start thinking of hardness in your cap. Making muscles retract and relax, come to you numb from your feet back, make it feel like your legs got detached. Lieutenant Dan screaming, damn, my spine is at the Holy Ghost. Body bending like the exorcist, I'm moving to the next position like we practice this shit. And I ain't done, so we ain't finished, so this it's just the beginning, cause meat in your lips is like Popeye and spinach. Keep on kissing, you can see how strong you get it, how long you get it. I'm just trying to distract you from the bullshit and remind you what it feels like to be a woman. Remind you that your beauty is timeless. Remind you that there are men who would die to have your chocolate truth leave Hershey's kisses on third eyelids. But some dudes are prolific. Some are pro ignorant, but as long as you walk with a switch in your hip and your head held high, you can tell them since that chocolate truth is something I own. It can't be hated, duplicated, or cloned. So blow a kiss to your haters and tell them love it or leave it alone, huh? You can love it or leave it alone, huh? You can love it or leave it alone, huh? You can love it or what? Right on. Hey, before I leave, wait, wait, wait. I want to, um, man, I want to give it up to my brother Don Juan, man. You know what? That's some, you know, he's a very inspirational dude, man. Real quick, like, no lie, yo, this dude, he's, he's always been my one of my favorite poets for the simple fact that every poem, all, damn near every poem, all his fucking poems are, like, real uplifting and shit. Like, I, I write real depressing shit. If it ain't about sex, then it's depressing as hell. Like, so, like, but he, like, writes uplifting stuff, and it really, it, it, he writes... He writes poetry for your spirit. So, you know, I really want to give it up to my brother, Don Juan, Dallas Sam, champion. And um, uh, I just want to tell him you're welcome. And uh, I got CDs for a dollar because I'm an alcoholic, so holla at me.
one more time for Rage, y'all might. Y'all give it for Rage.